हे गायस विकास ओवर इयर एंड यू आर वॉचिंग वी आर जीनियस गायस टुडे आई एम अगेन विथ ए न्यू वीडियो अराउंड ओपन ऐप एंड ई एस पी एट टू सिक्स सिक्स इन दिस वीडियो विल सी हाउ टू कनेक्ट ई एस पी एट टू सिक्स सिक्स टू ओपन ऐप यूजिंग एम क्यू टी टी लाइक दिस ई एस पी एट टू सिक्स सिक्स कैन बी यूज एच डी आई वाई होम ऑटोमेशन नोट टू कंट्रोल होम अप्लायसेस टू यूज एम क्यू टी टी विथ ओपन ऐप वी नीड टू फर्स्ट इंस्टॉल मॉस्किटो और सम सॉर्ट ऑफ एम क्यू टी टी ब्रोकर एंड ऑन द लाइक ई एस पी टू सेट विल बी यूजिंग वी मॉस एंड विल बी प्रोग्रामिंग यूजिंग आर इनो आई डी वन इम्पोर्टेंट थी गाइज द सेट ऑफ दैट आई एम गोइंग टू शो विद रेस्पेक्ट टू ओपन ऐप इज लाइक कंसिडरिंग ओपन ऐप वर्जन फोर पॉइंट टू और हायर ओनली सो इफ यू आर यूजिंग एनी ओल्ड वर्जन ऑफ ओपन ऐप इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क सो बींग सेट दैट लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट गाइज So guys, to start with this, we first need to install the required MQTT broker into our system. So over here, I am going to use Mosquito, but if you want, you can use any other, or even you can use Cloud One. So to install Mosquito, I will just access into my Open Havian over here. Again, as I am using Open Havian on top of Raspberry Pi, I will be having one configuration window where I can install it directly. But if you are running on top of like uh, Linux. you can do so from terminal so that is quite simple so let's do this on open avian sudo open avian config yep click on okay now just get into optional components and over here click on mosquito and click on continue so just provide the password for the broker uh, so for every connection this username and password pair will be required so make sure to note it down so i have given same as the like what is there in the username that is open having so same as the username so should that click on okay and it might take some time till it gets Fully installed. So let's just wait for it. Just now. So yep. Over here, here got the message like set over successful and all. Click on OK. Now, exit. So uh, this is just let it be there. Clear. Now, after the installation, let's check if the mosquito is properly installed and running. And for that, I am going to use this Chrome application that is MQTT Lens. So over here, get into like connections. Again, it can be simply installed from Chrome Web Store. So just type in the IP of your like. Open App System. Over here, the username, same the password, and then just turn create connection. And you can see over here it is showing connected. So now. Let's do this. Now let's now let's get into the web UI of Open App, and we'll add ESP to access to it. Now over here, get into first like paper UI. Into install the like MQTT uh, binding for Open App. So get into add-ons, bindings, and just go for MQTT, and just make sure to install this one. Before setting up anything and all, uh, the extension of MQTT binding is installed. Now, after that, I get into like inbox. Click on search for things, MQTT binding. Click on add manually, and get into MQTT broker, and just select the location. Let's say I'll put something. Then I'm going to use localhost as uh, this. 
broker is installed locally need to show more and over here just put in the username and password so all this uh, you can change if you want or if not it is fine no issue so just that's it here you can see the mkt broker is connected and online now let's get into again things sorry again inbox and over here search for things and if you have actually uh, let's get into this first like home assistant mkt component or particular topic structure that is uh, based on like uh, home assistant or homey that will automatically get discovered otherwise you just can add generic mkt thing now just get into the mkt thing to do so let's open up uh, the like we open up files and all configuration files so it is situated in etc slash open up to folder in case of open havian so over here get into like items and i have actually already added one so okay actually i was checking out now to add a switch item for particular mqtt like uh, topic over here which we added or channel over here which we added this thing i just need to add a switch item and that you can do like this so switch then the name of the switch description about it and the type or what is tag and all so it is a lighting or you can have socket and all so that like again it is useful if you want to control your open half from amazon echo dot and so then on channel you just need to paste whatever you copied over here that is the id mk topic and the id and the channel name or the channel id actually now uh, it is done so you are ready with the switch now just we need to create a demo site map so that we can interact with the switch uh, okay actually this is also actually i have already created but you can do so so uh, let's get into the basic ui of open half so again head over to web ui and over here select basic Now uh, get into the MQTT Lens app once again, and over here we are going to like subscribe to this particular topic. So whenever we'll interact with this particular switch, this uh, like Open App should publish message to this particular topic. So I'll just put over here. Sorry. Okay, so now we are it is it's for men so Yep, subscribe and let's see if it works. Yep, when I made the switch on, you can see over here a message on is appearing. And uh, like if you want to uh, like send something else, you can do so from the configuration window. Uh, let's get into that. Yep, over here. And the things. Like let's say uh, open window. I want to send ten and thirteen was close so let's make it on and off and you can see over here it is sending 30 now if you want to interact with the switch uh, from outside up your open app system uh, let's see if it is working so I'll just copy this topic publish let's say 10 I want to publish
and you can see it has made the switch on now let's I'll publish 13 to it it should make the switch off so it is uh, like working perfectly uh, so let's get into Arduino and we'll just dump a demo sketch so that it will be interacting with the open app system so guys on the hardware side actually there is nothing special I've just connected one remote module over here to one switch and one LED so this switch will depict as input whereas this LED will act as an output again if you want you can connect multiple uh, like uh, loads sort of like relays and all to this so for uh, just demo purpose I have just used one LED so you can replace LED with pretty much anything that you want to drive so there's there is nothing else except that uh, in the hardware side so let's quickly connect it to the PC and we'll dump the code and we'll connect it uh, like interact with the open app so let's move to the PC so guys this is the sketch that I have used with the ESP266 module and you can find the link to the sketch in the description so coming to libraries I have used popsub client to like publish MQTT message as well as subscribe to different MQTT topics so if you want to install it uh, like if you are not having already you can get into manage libraries and you can uh, like search for popsub so just hold on while click refresh pop and s caps sub yeah this one by already so you can see where it is showing already installed but if you haven't just select the version and click on install button so just close it yep now after that this is pretty much the simple sketch around like publishing and subscribing MTT and you can uh, like check out the pop sub client example sketch also so over here what I have done is in the loop section uh, like I've just uh, like sent a uh, written as simple code that will publish one whenever the connected button is pressed so actually you can see where the button is connected to GPIO 4 so whenever the button is pressed the like particular GPIO connects to ground and it sends out a one to this MQT topic that is actually we have configured in open app so this only sends one so if you want to like make toggle and all you can just pretty much like change the code over here and it will send one as well as zero so again that you can do so and over here i have used melees and all to avoid debouncing issues now nothing in like loop and all this is pretty simple sketch then coming to configuration over here just make sure because we have used username and password with mqtd broker while installing mosquito actually so you need to mention the username and password while connecting to the MQTT broker so along with connect you need to pass the username and password over here now it sim again so over here okay. then after that uh, this area over here I have subscribed to a particular topic so whenever like some message is uh, published to this particular topic the like Arduino or over here esp 2 sys can know about it and the function that gets called whenever a message is published to this particular topic is this callback so it's being registered over here with to this particular subscribe topic so whenever a message is uh, like particularly published to this particular topic or whichever topic uh, we have subscribed uh, which is over here one only but if we have like subscribed to multiple topics also there is no issue so this callback function gets called so over here in the callback function we get topic the payload and the length of the payload so this pretty much like processing the payload and all so whenever the payload first character is one which has been uh, like published by open have or some other uh, application anything the particular uh, like load pin is pulled high so the led connected to it glows so the led actually is connected to pin number two or gpi2 actually in arduino pin making mapping of wemos so that's pretty much all about code like nothing uh, like uh, uh, nothing much happening this is just a publish and subscribe thing so let's upload it to the wemos board and we'll see how it works yep 
yep the code is uploaded you can see over here wi-fi connected the ip address uh, mkt is connected now let's bring up the uh, this open app web interface yeah this again i had to change some basic things over here in open app like what we i did earlier was like I was sending 10 and 13 so instead of I just made it 1 and 0 so whenever the switch is made on it will send 1 and when it is uh, like made off it will send 0 so let's take it there yep now you can see whenever I make the switch uh, like on and off the particular message is ge getting published to this particular topic which you configured earlier and is being received by the Wemos so you can see also the LED is kind of going on and off and you can connect pretty much anything to that particular GPIO so that can be toggled over here now let's see if I press the button if you are getting message like published in the particular topic so I'll just clear it out and yep this switch now if I'll press the button you can see over here it is publishing one so if you press it it will publish just one nothing else so you need to implement your own logic on top of it to make it work like if you want to uh, like activate the particular load or you want to make it uh, off and on it can be designed in open app rules so that's pretty much all about it guys i hope you have enjoyed it if so hit the thumbs up button and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet consider subscribing it to see video like this so see you next time with our next video till then goodbye